Hey guys, Megalosaur Studios here with the review of the Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Starscream. Now, star this Starscream toy is based on his appearance from the original G1 cartoon pilot at, from season one, and, and now, and this is was his like pyramid jet. So, the painting and the sculpting on this guy is great. Like, he is. Astro Train's painting and sculpting is also great. It, and, so, let's get back to Starscream. So, as you can see, he's a nice pyramid jet. Like, freaking. This is what. If ancient Egypt never fell, this is what their F 15s would look like. So, the face sculpt of the jet, pretty nice. Well, he does have null rays, but I can't find it. So, size comparison, here is uh, Astro Train. My first toy review. My last video, or my last video. Sorry. So, let's get on to the transformation. So, first... We open up the the legs, I mean the, the wings. Then we split apart. Then we split apart that. So if you don't, so so it looks like it's blown up. So you fold up the wings out of the way and you open up these sections. Then you fold out the legs and this. This, the chest piece is very loose. So, unpeg the back section. You fold up the head. So then you uh, peg in this. So then you peg in that torso piece. And then you take this gray panel and you fold it back. So he's standing up. So, so he, now you can see the resemblance of a robot, but we're not done yet. Spin around his torso. Open up his feet. Eat, eat. Move back his. Move back the thrusters so they're on the back. Lift up the the nose cone, the the original nose cone, and peg it into the and peg it into the back. It's kind of hard. I don't. I'm gonna do it off camera. There you go. So it's plugged into the back like that. So, so you streamline everything, and then you open up the arms, arms like that. Do on this arm as well. So open up like that. Then you. I'm sorry if I didn't get that on cam. So you you open up the arm and then you extend it, and you fold out the hand so he has a fist. And I'll do the. Other hand off camera. Huh? And here is Siege Starscream in robot mode. So, as you can see, it's very show accurate. Just with all this annoying scuffing, which I don't mind. It's kind of like rust or battle damage. Hitch. So, let's get on to the Let's get on to the face sculpt. Right, so, oops, I'm sorry. I, I can't see. I can't seem to find. Well, if you if you look closely, you can see his head sculpt, which is um very show accurate. It, so he does have null rays, but I can't find them. So let's get on to the articulation. So, as a swivel at the head. 
is a ball joint at the head, but it's more like swivels, and you can look up and down. You can rotate around. His arm can rotate and move in and out. Bicep swivel. Oh. Bend at the elbow. Wrist swivel. Wrist swivel. Oh, sorry, I took that from Jobby Tom. Please notice me, Jobby. So then we, uh, his legs can move forward and back, but it was kind of obscured by the back. And he also can do a beautiful spread. Ed, Ed, he can bend at the knee, but that's more for the transformation. And, and, and he can do a pivot. I was on this guy is very good. You can make get him some dynamic poses. Is is especially for his size, which compared to the original Astro Chain, you can see how they you can see this guy has die cast metal but is lacking in articulation. This guy um, is this guy is cheaper but but this guy's cheaper but has more articulation, so I get it. You you want more dynamic pose of your figures as a book. Could you at least add die cast metal again? Just saying. Overall, this figure is nice. Um, not as good as Astro Train, but still highly recommend it. it. You can get into some dynamic poses. Has excellent detail in both robot mode and he has a great jet mode. Highly recommend him if you can afford him. Which is actually not that bad. It, this figure came out recently. It's like 10 bucks, I think. Like on Amazon. I don't remember his price, but... I'm pretty sure it's like in the... 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 The 20s or the... Ten, the 10s. Like 12 or 15 or 20. So, as, what, as always, I'm Megalosaur Studios. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Let's get to 500 subscribers, and I'll see you next time.